All right, so we just passed our first stop at uh, McConnell General Store. Now we are on our way, leaving from there, heading towards our second stop, which will be Wolf's General Store, which is about uh, 15 miles or so away. So far, so good. Alright, we did 19 miles. Uh, it's around 12.30 uh, in the afternoon. We probably biked. We started out a little bit before, a little bit before 9. So, taking a stop. Got Kate and the kids, Anthony Sean Din here with Peanut on the trail. We got Min here. So halfway, halfway, we're gonna bike to probably another seven miles or so to uh, Wolf's General Store and stop there for lunch. run recreation area. Yeah, go in a little bit more and then we'll we'll wait. Oh that's it! That's it! That's it! Alright, we made it. We got to our point. Right here, this brown house to the uh, the right hand side. This is uh, Wolf's General Store. We're gonna stop here uh, for lunch. All right. Huh? No, I'm fine. I just wanted you to wait for. So what? Oh yeah, yeah, we can uh, go down there, buy, buy the food. Buy the food and then go, go down there and eat. All right, park our bikes here. Good, we made it. I'm trying to catch up to you. Just got done eating at uh, Wolf's General Store. We're about 10 miles away, <clears throat> 10 miles away from our uh, campsite, which is uh, Hoffman's campsite. So probably another hour or so before we get there. So almost there. All right, boys, another 10 miles. You good? We've probably done 30 miles. 30 miles. And today is a cloudy day. It's only like 3.30 or so, but uh, it's getting kind of dark. So 
so we want to get to our campsite, Hoffman's campsite, which is probably 10 miles out, another 10 miles. Uh, so that we can set up camp. That might be it up there. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Cedar Run, that's what it is. The Cedar Run, Cedar Run General Store. That's what it is. Yeah. Hi there. Made it. Yeah, it, it should be open till seven today. He's behind me, I see him. And now we're on our way to our uh, campsite, which is uh, probably about four and a half miles. How are you doing? So we're about one mile away from uh, Huffman's campsite where we're staying tonight and uh, it's starting to drizzle. I hope the rain holds out. I mean we checked the weather, uh, it said it's supposed to be cloudy and not rain. So hopefully um, that it won't rain. And I think uh, we're approaching the campsite now. Hey, good. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. I think so. There it is. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. We made it. Huffman campsite. Yeah, go in. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for these two. High five. Yeah, you made it. Go in. Yeah. Did it, brother. Let's go. Ah, no one's here. Perfect. There's a bathroom. There's a bathroom. There's a fire pit. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yeah. There's a bunch over there, but uh, yeah, be careful. Cool. All right. to uh, Huffman's camp so that's the way in we made it here it is about uh, 605 that's where we set up underneath the tent we got our uh, fire going right behind the chairs there and it looks like there's um, men's and women's uh, bathroom here so that's that's pretty cool it's nice convenient uh, drizzling a little bit so I hope <clears throat> hope it won't rain out on us tonight I mean forecast said uh, it's only cloudy weather channel hopefully uh, hopefully they're they're right 
but yep gathered some wood logs got the fire going so get some amber and we'll start grilling yeah. yeah. so they know that's one serving <laughs> <laughs> one serving <laughs> this is this is uh, a well earned well earned well deserved oh, did you want to butter that photo or no it's fine no, we'll, we'll throw it on. We'll throw the butter on. That'll probably be enough. Then. The butter, butter after it cooks, that then you burn, throw right? it on. Yeah, because it'll burn. Yeah. This, sure. is, this is clamping, y'all. For sure. 100%. Woo, <laughs> we made it. 40 miles, yo. 40 miles in the day. We did it. Oh, yeah, man, it's still burning. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Still burning. <laughs> Wow. Steak with baked potatoes. Can't beat that. We're camping, I tell you what. There's our tent set up. So we got some steak to be cooked. We got the bear bags setting up over there. We're in bear country. So, gotta be safe, the bear bags. You can, you can do, um, you can season the other side once it's on, or if you don't want to burn yourself, yeah, just do it here. Here, yeah, just put that down. Watch, watch. Yeah, don't drop it. Hey, does anybody have uh, some more white out? Yes. Where? Drop my damn phone in. No. In the, or on the floor. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I thought you meant like, <laughs> 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 like oh. that, that would be enough for me to go home. Yeah, yeah. This is all attached right here. Yeah. You can start eating some slicing. of this stuff. I think it's kind of cooked. Yeah, slicing it up. And see how it looks in case you yeah. want to cook it. There are plates right there. Uh, if if you guys want baked potatoes, yeah, fire that up so that that could be the the topping for it. See how see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. I've, I was concerned that by the time we got here it's gonna get marked pretty quick, but it's been light for pretty long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, that's what that's kind of like our main fear. That's why we kind of want to get here, kind of like on the time crunch, so to speak. Money shot. Yep. He's the champion. Look at the size yeah, of this fucker. Yeah, it looks like it's cutting pretty good too. Surprisingly, it's so plastic. Oh, gravy with like chunks of like biscuit dough in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I figured with with the the gravy, it yeah. might be a good topping for our kind of like mash mm -hmm. mash with yep. gravy kind of style. That one's half cut up. I'm gonna cut this one up so you guys can see. Oh, it's all the same though, right? It's the same marination, right? Yeah, those two are the same. There's one that's unmarinated over there. That's about it. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All you do is just mix it up just, just okay, once. Okay. Then. This this one is super. A little fun. bit more well. Yeah, this is well. This just is what it up and wait. I heard him say. Uh, then this is you over here. This is you over here oh, okay, with uh, more well done. Baked potato. That's nice. Uh, it's still not not as warm. It's only warm, but it's not. Oh yeah, sure. Day number.
number two. Early in the morning, the sun's finally popping out a little bit. Getting breakfast ready. And then we're going to pack up and head back to Jersey Shore. Another 40 miles, a little bit under 40 miles, but close to 40 mile ride. At least it'll be uh, downhill today. So we had to stay underneath there because it rained last night and we weren't sure if it's gonna pour or not. So to be on the safe side, there's no one really here. So kind of lucky one person showed up late last night, but they're pretty, pretty far away. I think they're like all the way over the other end here. So it's uh, 6.30, 6.30 in the morning. Slept pretty well. Bundled up last night, it got cold, but we were all warm. So we brought a lot of clothes. Got ourselves uh, coffee for me and coffee and then hot cocoa. So breakfast and then riding back to Jersey Shore. It should be an awesome day, downhill at least. All right, <clears throat> it's not even seven o'clock in the morning yet. I woke up early, it's a pass down here. With go and try to see if Kaden can catch something here. Uh, this is uh, Huffman's camp site we stayed at. Moving pretty strong. Morning. Caveman style. Caveman style, rigging this up to. Uh, Your once I was getting kind of crispy, so I turned it. Oh, thanks. Cook the steak a little bit more uh, well done here. That actually looked really good with yeah. the juices um, dripping, yep. dripping off like that. Breakfast. And we gotta pack up. Somebody's getting spoiled here. Enjoying sunbathing. Alright. She was a trooper for the for the trip. Finishing up. Breakfast, and we'll put the fire out, and we'll be on our way. The, uh, the person who was here that came in over there late last night um, departed already. So we're the only one here. No. Yeah, and there's water coming out of here. Just got to pump it up. So that's good to know. All right, that's good. Look how nice it is. Look at this. In the valley. 10.48. All right, let's go. 10.48. Oh, almost 11? Yeah, Damn, we're going to have another late lunch. All right, leaving Hoffman's camp. Yep, fine. Go ahead. Oh, I don't even have my lights on. All right, here we go. Back to Jersey Shore. 40 miles to go, boss. <laughs> <laughs> don't, uh, don't make Paul uh, disappointed, man. Break it down into chunks. 10 miles, 10 miles. Day 
number two, biking back after camping. We just left Hoffman's campsite. Now we're biking back all the way to Jersey Shore. Saw the mile marker. 33 miles. Seven and a half miles. Yeah. So 33 miles uh, within the trail. I think our our campsite. Yeah, that that makes sense because our campsite was at roughly about mile marker 26. So we're uh, seven miles in. Three more miles, and we're gonna stop at. Uh, Wolf's General Store for a, uh, a drink. We're probably gonna have another late lunch to the, today, fellas, because uh, what time do we leave Hoffman? Like uh, close to 11, right? 10, 10 something, 10.30, 10.45? Like yeah, so we left Hoffman's campsite, 10.50. We're probably gonna take us two and a half, three hours to get to uh, McConnell's, McConnell's General Store, which is about uh, 26 miles away. That'll put us around two, after two for lunch again. Yeah, yeah, which wouldn't be so bad because, you know, we're gonna be heading to the car by then. And yeah. By the time we get home, it'll be kind of like like a late dinner. Late yeah. dinner. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we had a a chilled morning at the campsite. Right. We took our time. Right, right, right. Which was nice. Yeah. You know? Steak and eggs. Did a little bit of uh, fishing before we packed up. Nice not to be on a on a schedule. Mm -hmm. We're not rushing to uh, to get somewhere. Let's leave our bike along the trail, and then that way uh, go in. Just stopped at Wolf's General Store. Picked up. Uh, some drinks. Uh, next stop is McConnell's General Store, which is about 15 miles away. And then we're gonna go there and stop for lunch. So I threw on my light jacket. I thought it was gonna be uh, warm starting out. It got a little chilly, so just threw on a light jacket because when the sun is behind the clouds and we're uh, between the trees, it got a little chilly. Rose Run. Where we're crossing. Got two mile, half mile marker 40. There goes Tate and the kids. So at this point, we've probably done 20 miles already. So we probably have like another six miles to get to uh, McConnell's General Store for a little lunch break. Yeah, you guys doing all right? Did you get footage of the repair? 
<laughs> oh no, I was, I was too worried that we didn't make it. Oh, stop for a quick drink. About eight miles. I thought it was five, but I think it's about eight. According to my friend's uh, GPS tractor. This is why we drove three hours to this trail. When we get to a trail like this, Pine Creek, Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. Oh, just past mile marker 45. Mile marker 45, I mean it's uh, I think we're five miles away from McConnell General Store. I'm munching on my beef jerky snack while we're riding. I don't know if you guys can see this. Beef jerky snack. Get some energy. Point three miles. Yeah, I think so because it's uh, McConnell's Run is right by Water Village. Round three. So certainly going to be a late lunch. Woohoo! One more mile. You're almost there. Oh yeah, that big one didn't. Uh, said his bike's not wasn't tuned and uh so he's been having issues with it so just playing with the gears and whatnot to try to find uh, the right one but i think we'll be there in another mile I didn't know you were waiting here. I was waiting down there for them. I was just right around the bend. Oh, okay. Had I known that you were here, I would have came up here to oh, wait, yeah. waited with you. Yeah. yeah, I was just right around the bend wait, waiting for them. I, I think we have like another mile. Yeah, yeah, we're at like 24 miles right now. Yeah, so probably like another mile or a little bit more than a mile, we, we should be there. So hopefully the, uh, the weather will uh, hold out. Felt like a another couple raindrops. Yeah. yeah I that too. Yep, we are in uh, Waterville. So, McConnell store should be coming up somewhere. You doing okay with drinks? Yeah. I have some Gatorade if you want some. Okay. Then you can drink that for lunch. after the bridge we're, we're in that town so so it's close oh it's right here ah oh, right oh, we made it all right just before this bridge here thought we would have to cross the bridge country store. We are here. Uh, Alright, McConnell Country Store, we made it. Let's go in for some lunch. Okay, back on the road. We just got done having lunch at McConnell's. Now this is the last stretch, a 
another, uh, I think, uh, 12, 13 miles to Jersey Shore. Back to our car. So this is um, Waterville. Waterville, I believe. Yep. Waterville. Yeah, that's a good pocket. Yeah, that's a good pocket for uh, fishing there. We did it again. We just stopped right around the corner from Min. Point three miles. Almost there. Five miles. Two miles, two miles. <laughs> there thank you for following another adventure with us to our car Woo good job Kaden we did it we did it Woo, we did it Perfect we did it yep we did it did it all right in the books nice job Kate and the kids made it Woo! did it unpack the bikes packing up the car made it back to Jersey Shore Woohoo! Ah, man, about 40 miles in, 40 miles out. 